Could we? <laughs> we complete? Yeah. Okay, we have a new topic. So today we are going to talk about uh, vitamin. Okay. Vitamins. So what is the vitamin? Vitamin words. It is made from two words, vital plus amines. So vital means important, important, or uh, amine means organic compound. Organic compound that was essential for our life. You can write here essential for life. So basically, we can say vitamin are organic compound that are essential for life. There are two types of the organic compound, essential and non-essential. So essential, essential organic compound we can get or we have to get from food and other product. But non-essential organic compound our body can form itself. Okay. So essential uh, organic compound our body cannot form itself. So basically you can say vitamin are organic compound that are essential for life so anybody can you tell me about what is the importance of vitamin in our body yes please okay you want to hide your knowledge yes you okay i will tell you yes please vitamins is good for health and vitamins are increase our metabolism okay yes so you are almost right I will tell you real importance of the vitamin in our body. Vitamin we can take from food or we can take like as a drugs also. So the imp importance of vitamin R as drugs, it's prevent and treatment of deficiency or disease. So first main thing is vitamin contain negligible calorie that's why it's required in limited amount the deficiency of vitamin can cause also some disease or some symptoms in our body or in excess of vitamin also can cause some disease or deficiency in our body our body cannot produce vitamin because all vitamins are essential organic compound so essential organic compound our body cannot produce now how we can really understand in one sentence or in one line what is the vitamin and what is the definition of vitamin so vitamin are non energy yielding organic compound that organic compound essential for human metabolism for the growth for the and some function normal function of our body like to the help of vitamin a we can see in dim lights and fight of disease vitamin can improve the some deficiency some symptom some signs can also improve but excesses of vitamin can give some signs some symptoms some deficiency also so vitamin we have to use or we have to take in limited amount this is the general definition of the vitamin a so what is the vitamin vitamin is non energy yielding organic compound that organic compound essential for normal metabolism for the growth function and fight of disease okay so now we are going to talk about types of the vitamin vitamin are basically two types first is fat soluble second one is water yes water soluble can you tell me uh, which vitamin have in fat soluble okay adk and in water soluble yes vitamin b and vitamin c so how to remember fat soluble and water soluble vitamin so there is i'm writing a sentence that will help in future so you will never forget so sentence is packed blood does not have WBC. Here we consider only two words that one that are fact and WBC. So here F4 hat A4 vitamin A K4 vitamin K E4 vitamin E D4 vitamin D. 
okay now there so w w for water b for vitamin b and c for vitamin c this is the general hint how to remember which are the fat soluble and which are the water soluble vitamin i will mention one things more in vitamin in fat soluble and in water soluble fat soluble fat soluble vitamin are stored in our fat cell so fat soluble vitamin is stored is stored in fat cell but water soluble vitamin not stored in our body okay water soluble vitamin are not stored in our body so therefore they all need to be replaced daily but fat soluble vitamin are stored in our body here one more thing there is vitamin k that are not stored in our body for prolonged time this is not stored for prolonged time vitamin k is stored in our body very very for less time okay so accept vitamin k accept vitamin k four vitamin are stored means a e and d that all are stored in fat cell okay in fat cell now we are going to talk about step by step for all vitamin deficiency what is the causes of vitamin and what is the excessive of vitamin so first we are going to talk about a so what is the physiological role and action of vitamin a so first vitamin a help in growth and maturation second one to the help of vitamin a we can see in dim light so we can see or vision in dim light vitamin a also maintain our healthy skin okay this is the role and action of vitamin a so here i am mentioning very important role of vitamin a that was is reproductive function okay okay tell me what is the reproductive function of vitamin a anybody knows in female in male no no okay i will tell you so in male vitamin a will increase our sperm quantity vitamin a will also increase our sperm quality as well as it will be also increase our sperm quantity next in female vitamin a help in development of placenta okay development of the placenta so this is the general physiological role and action of the vitamin a okay so organic compound as drugs in vitamin a so here is some organic compound like retinoid so in this there are two types of the organic compound retinol and second one is dihydro retinol okay tell me what is the dosage of retinol and what is the dosage of dihydro retinol we can use for the deficiency of the vitamin a 1 mg okay very little amount okay and uh, dihydro retinol we can use 4 mg so deficiency of vitamin a is it will be stop or it will be decrease our growth the deficiency of vitamin a does not maintain our skin healthy so skin will be dry or rough in our eyes there is two type of the deficiency first one is night blindness second one is xerophthalmia so one more deficiency of due to vitamin a that was is creatinization okay so basically vitamin a is good for skin and growth so for the girls vitamin a is good okay so in girls development of acne so for the acne we can use retinoic acid retinoic acid okay that you will study in dermatology that uh, is not my topic because i am neurologist so now we are going to talk about excess of vitamin a excess of vitamin a so when somebody take a lot of vitamin a then he can damage liver so vitamin can damage liver and one more important things i want to mention here because 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 i am neurologist so i want to mention that things also
also it is produce high intra cranial pressure in cns so this is the excessive of the vitamin a 